Okay, so I thought I'd take us on a little road trip today. And these few clips here, the last you're going to see of me for a while because it's honestly a little more interesting to look at the outside, what we actually drive through. So I'm going to go over to that in a minute. I hope you enjoy the ride. Rest assured that I didn't actually drive this fast, of course. I sped up the recording in order to give you an indication of the distance between my home and the village that I chose to take you to. And this part of the trip is not at all the most scenic part. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so welcome to small town Denmark. I'm taking you on a little ride because sometimes we just have to look at new things, which is the whole point of today's trip. I was in the vicinity of this area the other day, maybe about four or five days ago with my family, but I saw it with them. Um, and things look different when you're on your own. Sometimes you need to see things on your own to really have that unfiltered experience. It was nice to share it with them the other day, but for some reason I felt like going back and looking at it myself. Also, I had this vague notion that I'd like to live up there someday, far away from stuff, far away from people, far away from the cityscape of Odense, which isn't very city-like, but it's certainly not the country. The road is really narrow here, so I hope I don't meet an oncoming vehicle, or at least that if I do, the person is driving as slowly as I am. It's mid-April here, and you can sort of tell that it's it's still early spring. It's been a cold spring, so there aren't that many buds on trees, but they are there. They just haven't progressed very far yet. In terms of uh, geographical location, right now we're about maybe 20 kilometers north of Urense, the city that I live in. And city is to be taken with a grain of salt. Kind of a large town, I guess you could say. 200,000 people at any rate. And this is something completely different, which is why I'm going here. I want different. I need different. Sometimes we do. I think we underestimate how often we need to look at different surroundings. And I've read research that indicates that our brain sort of fires up new neurons. I forget the exact terminology, but it's good for our brain health and for our aging process that we surround ourselves with with new things every now and then. Our eyes have to look at new things and our brains have to uh, process new things. So since the other day, there's a lot of dirt on the road, which means there's been a tractor. This is a small village that I can see myself living in 10 years from now or so, maybe. It's called Vibu and is on the northern, in the northern part of Funen. It's really pretty. I might have to go back to this parking lot because I'd like to take a walk. First I'll take a little tour. The road sign there for Mole. I might actually have to go there as well to show you that. Most of these buildings are probably from around, well, beginning or mid 19th century. And there you see a daisy on a sign. That means it's the daisy route, Danish Marguerite route, which is a particularly scenic route. Okay, so I just made a U-turn and uh, I'm going to go through the village from the other direction because I want us to uh, stop somewhere. Actually, maybe I should go this way because it says Vibu Mulle. So there's, a, I think, some sort of old mill up there. Let's take a look at that before we park. Yes, there's the mill. That's pretty. This whole village is just its like some sort of outdoor museum. I'm actually 
having a bit of a, I wouldn't say, well, epiphany part two. I'm just being confirmed that this is a place I, I could live in when I'm a little older. Okay, we're past the mill now. I need to make another U-turn. Before you know it, you're out of these villages again. I mean, that's why it's a village, of course. If you see that little tricycle on the right-hand side of the road there, there are parts of the country where they park these little tricycles to let uh, cars know that they should slow down, that there are children about. It's kind of a, it's a cute little sign, I think. It belongs to the country. Okay, approaching the village once again from another side. But this time I think I'm gonna try to find that parking lot. Parking lot is a big word. Patch of gravel. You get a pretty good sense of uh, some of the picturesque villages that are um, strewn throughout Denmark, which makes me really appreciate my country. I have to go someplace like this every once in a while to remind myself that it's here. I need a dose of this sort of thing to compensate for some of the nasty looking buildings that are sprouting in the center of my town. Okay, which way is there? I have to go now. Left? I don't know. Let me try. Oh, there's the mailman again. Oh yeah, this is this is the right direction. That looks like postman Pat, to be honest. Which is a nice touch. Rural. Okay, so here's a really tricky bend in the road. I have to be careful. Oncoming traffic, i.e. one other car. Not a lot of room, so I have to be careful. There's the church, it's very pretty. It has both a cupola and a tower. And I need to find that bit of gravel. Was this where it was? Yeah, here it is. Lots of other people are here, so I'm gonna have to stop. Okay, so the minute I stepped out of the car, it immediately became a kind of um, sensory 3D experience because there's a delightful whiff of manure here but it just makes it so much more real that you're really in the country and I love it this place is gorgeous um, just gonna walk us a little down some of these streets I swear nothing here is from the 20th century it's windy though so uh, I hope my voice is gonna carry a little garden pavilion over here behind me. Okay, so I thought it was perhaps more relevant to look at the houses here rather than me. You probably saw some of these angles before, but it's a little different when we're walking here. I wonder how many people live here. A couple hundred? Max. Here's a little secret. The house right here. They have a little lake in the garden. Well, that's not the secret, but I drove past this house maybe 10 years ago. And I remember thinking, there it is. That's my dream house. When my kids don't live at home anymore, because this would be way too far out of the city for them. But one day I thought, this is where I want to live, but I couldn't find it again couldn't remember where it was. Oh my god, it's number 19. That's my lucky number. How is that even possible? So the people who live there obviously don't know that I want to live there one day. I feel like knocking on their door. I could possibly do with this house as well, but for some reason it was the other one I had in mind. Actually, maybe we should go take a look at the church. So now we're in the small cemetery it belongs here to this church and it's really pretty as well not to be more of it but I like churchyards or some churchyards anyway this is a typical churchyard for Danish village it's not very big obviously 
and it's at the very outskirts of the village. So all you see is fields on the other side of it, and behind it. I wonder when this church is from. Maybe there'll be a year up there. So over here, just fields. That's the sort of view I want one day. I want to open my back door and just see fields or forests or a lake. No chimneys, no buildings, no freeways, no nothing. Well, this is 1899, but that's the grave. Not, I don't know about the church itself. Okay, so here we've got graves from, well, 1905, 1898. Okay, well, this is, this is the age of the church. It's from the 1100s. Ah, the whiff of manure is evident now again. And here there's a view of the village from this side. And these look like ancient slabs, ancient tombstones. Here, these look almost Viking. There's my car parked down there. And now we come back to the front. And there's my dream home. And its neighbor. So I got carried away by village life here and recorded a bit more than I was supposed to. Which means I will be leaving you at the gate here and hopefully see you next time. <laughs>